Hey everybody, this is Amanda with Brownie Stitch Love, and there's Miss Brownie. And we're actually going to do a quick video of my stitchy spot. I don't think I've ever showed my stitchy spot. I know that I've often done videos of my stitchy spot where I'm at, but I've never shown my stitchy spot. So here it is. It is a love seat that I have got built as a nest system, as you can tell. Actually, uh, tonight I'm about to do a whip video. And so basically all the stitchy stuff that I own is pretty much just in one little area. Um, I figured I'd go over. I know a bunch of us kind of shared our knickknacks and our stands and things that we use. And so I figured I'd take just a brief second to show you what I've got and why I use what I use. Um, there's my end table. Um, as we know, I love Dachshunds, and so there's a Dachshund pincushion. And that green thing on the table is just a piece of Imaginex that my kids have not picked up. I have a flower pot for my husband's aunt. The Angry Bird is not mine. It's actually my oldest son's. So it's kind of here, just because. Um, there's candles in the back that I can light if I want to. Um, I have just a little goodie tray of chapsticks and some floss. And there's my Oort jar. Um, I actually got my Oort jar Let's see, I think at the Dollar Tree, it says, love is spoken here. Um, I don't want this to be real blurry. I've got my Germix, and I've got my Udder Cream, and of course, we're having a thunderstorm coming up, and so Miss Brownie just got some Benadryl, so that's why that's sitting there. And of course, a Lego Chima bookmark for Sam. Um, we have blankets. I'm actually in the process of trying to redo that. And of course, there's a picture of us all together and there's Mr. S uh, Sam when he was little but you know here's all oh it's kind of embarrassing to show you but yeah all that's all my whips and all my goodies and then I have a little knitty basket there flip-flops and house shoes because I am cluttery um I have this side of my love seat that I can use and there's my aunt light brownie brownie say hi say hi yeah She's 10 years old. She turned 10 May 20th, and she is a love. Um, I don't use the sofa cushions on this couch, and you'll see why, because I kind of have a hoard of boppy pillows. But to be honest with you, I'm not the only one who uses them. So, no, can't complain there. I have this little DMC thing, and there's some mag lights there that are sexy um, that I use um, sometimes. But we're going to go over here to my favorite part. Um, of course, there's a whip box. And this is an actual storage ottoman that we bought off of the local buy sale page on Facebook. And it has turned out to be super... Why is this just so... Gaw. It's so blurry. And if it is, I'm sorry. Because um, I am fil filming with my iPad. We love the storage ottoman. It's perfect. It actually rolls around the living room. Everybody takes turns sitting on it. So it's just... Completely awesome. And of course, that's one of my favorite paintings by Saro. As my son says, Sarat. And let's see if I can go over here and show you last year's Mother's Day gift that my husband made. I have mentioned it to you, several of you. Oh, look how funny this is. I'm trying to reach it through the iPad. Um, this is my Ot Lot that my husband got me. I have several Ot Lots throughout the house, but this one's like one of my favorites. Because look, you can see your hand. Oh my gosh, don't judge. Look how dry that is. Um, it is awesome. And when you're working on kind of tedious work, you can do that. The next thing that my husband made for me is this. I actually told him I wanted a Lowry stand. My husband is a machinist. And so he went to work. Let me see if I can show you some of it. We do have a hat adjusting down through there at the bottom. There's buttons where the height's adjusting. Um, of course, it has a metal base. I didn't care what he painted it. We had a can of green. Um, if I'd done it over with, probably done silver or black. And of course, this comes out. Let's see if I can pull it out. Yeah. Woo! It comes all the way out. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. It can come all the way out. I forget that it does that. Um, it's not really that easy to turn, but you can work on your whips flip them back over, and then work on them. And it's just, to me, it's awesome. When I have a project going, I usually raise this up a little bit. And so I've got that, you know, comfortable. Um, over here, I have a handcrafted cedar cross from my husband's 
step grandfather and a little knit pins and needles knitting and stitchy shop Christmas house I'm sorry I keep it out your room and we won't show that picture unless you want to see a big pregnant belly um, kids found that today and had a ball these are my four little munchkins when we first were a family of six. Oh, and it's dusty. Um, this guy right here was my duster today, and he didn't dust that. Um, as always, we have our pictures. And let's see if we can go. And there's Bailey Joe. Bailey! She needs a haircut, so next time you see her, she'll probably have a trim. Um, that's our DVD cabinet. That's the picture and of course our love seat and my husband's recliner and then this literally is a coffee table full of just crap there's underwear everything uh, my kids are going to be working on that tomorrow after church and this is part of a custom built cabinet and we're actually going to have some more pieces made we're fixing to move into a different room that stack right there is what I've been doing and that's some um, stash that I've acquired. Yes, I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you that. And that's my junky kitchen right now. But what I have been doing since I have been out, um, let's talk about that. What I have been doing since April. April was the last video that I posted. Um, I've been finishing school and I've been finishing um, cross stitches projects and I've been a mom. Um, that's been the coolest thing was realizing how much time we've had spring concerts we've had band concerts we've had drama we've had crisis and we had a family member to die i think you guys know about that we had to go and clean out her house so there's been a lot of stuff going on every weekend has been very busy and then the other thing that we've been doing is we got a pool guys yes that's why my house is trying to get cluttered because we have more company than we know what to do with but we have a pool and it is awesome it is in a bunk ground and i will show it to you guys um we have a custom, my husband has custom built a deck in the backyard. We have put that up. And now, after he finishes the rails, guess what I get to do? I get to paint. It's so fun. But um, here's the projects that I've been working on. And I'll just show you this. Um, my mother says this to my kids all the time. She said it to me as a child all the time. And so, this is something that I have painted for my kids. And we're going to put it in their homework play area. Before you speak, think, is it is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Um, that was just a little Pinterest project. And then, this is the other one. Keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind. That is one of my favorite quotes. And um, it's supposed to be a sunflower, but eh, we'll see. We'll see. Um... And like I said, there's stash and patterns, and I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. I hit the mother load the other day, and it just keeps coming in. So I'm going to start gifting it and sharing it on stash and load because cross stitchers are not prevalent in the area where I live. So either way, this is a very short video. I'm sorry it is, but I've got to get caught up, and the only way... I can get caught up is to show you everything that I've got going on and what I've been doing. So, this is Amanda with Brownie Stitch Love, and I hope to see you with my next video. But this is my stitchy spot, and um, and I pretty much love it. There's another stitchy pot, a spot I think I've showed you guys, and that's my chase lounge in my bedroom. And then, of course, I have a desk and kind of my craft room study area. And I'll show that later on after I get other things done. God bless. Talk to you soon.